Hello everyone. Welcome to this simple tutorial that shows you how to access the Twain uh, from Visual Basic. In order to do that, you'll be needing the Twain handler file that can be found on the website. Uh, the website link is available on the right. Now, in order to test that and see how it works, we go to Start and all programs and select Microsoft Visual Basic. In our case, it's an Express Edition. Select File, New Project, and select Test it. Press OK. And there we go. Now, go to Project, select Add Existing Item, select Train Handler, click Add. Now, if you check the right side, you'll find the train, train Handler file available in our project. To work with the Twain file, add a button, call it scan, add a picture box, I'm going to put this picture box maybe a little bit, a little bit bigger, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, this size will be ok. Now, I will change one of the properties, and Okay, let me see, let me see, I'll change this one into stretch image, okay, now uh, to the code part, go to the handler of the scan button, dimension, file name, file name, a string, File name equal Twain Handler dot scan it. C slash close the file. Uh, what what does the, uh, what this command does? It performs the scan operation, and the file is stored directly on the C drive. By changing this uh, this directory, you will save the file into another place and the file name will be returned in this, into this variable ok now without making any checking about errors or anything usually the file name will be, will be missing or the file won't exist on the directory these are the common errors but assuming everything goes fine we, uh, we will load the image and display it so picture box one dot image equal image dot from file now the file will start in this location and file name and uh, in this way the code is complete and should work fine now let's test it uh, hit the run button ok we are gonna press scan as we can see here directly this window appears I'm going to select this and make a preview. Okay, I'm going to choose this image, this part. Okay, the beer on the far is something like that. Press scan. And as you can see that the image now appears in our window. Okay? And if you want to further check things, I'm gonna stop this application. I will go to my computer, go to the C drive where we can see the file available right here okay so by changing as we said before by changing this path we can store the image into a different place so uh, thank you for watching this simple tutorial hope it will be useful and easy for you to scan images from this scanner uh, if you have any comments if you have any new ideas to improve it i'll be happy to listen to them
So thank you and have a nice day.